Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Monster Camp. I am the Outback Al. I'm hot for justice. I'm Yin and Young. And I'm Chibi New. And we're currently on the hunt for a normal ending with joy, hopefully a joyous ending. But first, we gotta get our drank on. Let's make a choice. Okay. There we go. Computer's acting up a little bit. Yeah. All right, Suzanne. Let's get that tequila moonrise and really, really bump these stats up. The tequila moonrise. Invigorating. Whoa. Ah, so good. So powerful. All right, it's our last morning. Time to really make it count. Go for creativity or smarts? Either one. Why don't we start with creativity? That's our lower of the two. Then we can hit smarts on the on the at night. Okay. That day you happened to take some monster scouts class at class as Mamimi the Oni Girl. You didn't get good sleep last night, and you ask her if she has any of that weird energy drink she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some very strange smelling coffee that could help. Where does this girl even find these weird ass drinks? The coffee is delicious, but it comes with side effects. You get an acquired fear of caterpillars and you grow too creativity in your hair. We do have very creative hair today. You spent the day happily engaging in classic camp activities, arson, delinquency, fist fights. And now macaroni art. All right, tiny bendy noodles, it's time for you to bend to my artistic wills. All right. I'm employing a new statistical regression in order to gain a deeper appreciation of this art form. I made a necklace. <laughs> hmm. Where I'll keep powerful curses in the hollow part of the noodle, da. You think some mere macaroni will protect you from the most powerful enemy you can one can face at summer camp? Let me take a wild guess. Is it bears? No, Joy, it's bears! Oh, wait, you said that. Right. How foolish of me. You wouldn't even be able to smash those noodles in time to stop a bear. You might not even see one before it's too late. They're month masters of disguise. In fact, as much as I cherish you, dear students, I cannot be certain that any of you might not be a bear in disguise. A coach, according to my research, bears are mammals, and I am a non-organic life form comprised of electronics and programming. Do you see? That's exactly what a bear disguised as a robot would say. You are correct. Perhaps my programming prevents me from realizing that a bear is residing inside my metal chest. Don't do that to him. That's why I can never truly become... Blech. That's why I can never truly become emotionally close with anyone, because anyone could possibly... could secretly be a bear in disguise. It's a terrible, lonely existence. But that's the price I must... <sighs> Keep going into Dahlia. But that's the price I must pay for safety from bear attacks. Trust no one in this one. I missed it. <laughs> Why did you do this to me, Cam? Uh, sorry. It was insanely sorry, safe. My, 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 <laughs> mouse, my, my mouse fell and it clicked. Yeah, what a, that's insanely unsafe. <laughs> He's right. Insanely safe is the best kind of safe to be, which means any of us could be a bear. Yeah. This is getting to be unbearable. I'll stop. Time to devise a foolproof method to show that no one here is, secret, is a secret bear. Just stick a finger as far as you can into one of your orifices. If a bear has been hiding inside of you, you'll poke its fur. 
The Myers-Briggs indicator, indicator should be the, do the trick. It reveals key traits of your personality, such as your conflict resolution style and if you're secretly a bear. Sounds hmm. like smarts. That does sound like smarts. But our creativity is higher, so is the, is the first one more creative? Or is that bowl sticking something up through something? Or it could be fun. Depending on <laughs> how, how, depending on where you're sticking it. I think the second one is their best choice. Probably. Okay. Let's try it. Let's hope. Yeah. I normally discourage screen time in favor of physical activity, but in this case, I think we can make an exception. Phones out, campers. Let's discover our true personalities. Hmm. I do love a good self-reflection. I'll bite. You like to be involved in an active and fast-paced job. Saving the world? Strongly agree. You find yourself enjoying Bulgarian fash fusion ska? Strongly agree. Though I do not technically experience enjoyment, I strongly aspire to. You eat ass. I've eaten antelopes and wild boar, but we're never a donkey, so strongly disagree. <laughs> oh my god. Are you more interested in fighting evil by daylight or fighting or finding love by moonlight? Both! You would willingly kick a horse to death if it would cause all political prisoners to be released. Depends on the horse. Everyone has their results. I'm an ENFP. Oh. <laughs> Me Do you share that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm an INTP. I'm Sailor Jupiter! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an INFJ. You tell them your results, which is whatever you feel suits you. Feel free to announce this al aloud to your fellow players, or if you are alone, announce this aloud to no one. <laughs> I feel like I usually get ENTP on those. I... I always get I N F P. I think I always get the mediator result. Hmm. I know I get I N maybe I N T J or something or hmm. I N F J. Okay. Gap. Did um, you identify with Coach? Yeah. Well, I'm satisfied. No bears hiding inside myself or any of my dear students. What a relief. But coach, you did say that bears could blend into their surroundings. Yes, but our surrounding is just that strangely small square containing the background behind us at all times. I think we'd notice it if there were a... Bear detected. Warning, bear detected. Alert, alert. That's a bear, all right. I knew it! I knew a... <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew a bear was among us! But it turns out the real bear was outside us all along! The bear roars and escapes from this, his background prison, but since you and your friends clearly detected his presence just in time, you're able to escape. Ooh. Narrowly surviving a bear attack has really bonded you with your friends. You gain two boldness and one smarts. Hey, look at that. Such good stats. Such good stats. There's no My way God. we can lose. Oh, God. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say that because that's exactly how it'll happen. Go to the woods. Let's be smarter. Let's be the smartest. Okay. We're going to be so smart. We're going to have plus five smarts. That day you get lost in the woods. You use the stars, a.k.a. nature's compass, to get back to camp. The stars actually teach you a lot of all sorts of things, like how one of the stars is on Orion's belt is actually a nebula. The stars also teach you Italian, the quadratic formula, and the true meaning of friendship. Aww. Wow, the stars sure are smart, and they give you two smarts. Later, you're helping Joy test out some of her latest potions. <laughs> you down a mysterious vial of green bubbling elixir, and wait to feel its effects. Did it work, Suzanne? Do you feel any less horny? She and her monster prom outfit? Oh. Yeah. 
Joy leans in super close, checking your pupils for dilation. You shake your head. Potion didn't work. You're still super horny. Either that, or you're just in love with Joy. Eh, whatever. That potion is only effective about 40% of the time. Plus, I think I might actually miss your rampant hormone horniness if you were cured. I guess you're growing on me. Oh, by the way, you should come to my show tonight. Remember my screamo band, Ventigram? I'm the lead singer. Damien and Dolly are back up. Well, we've got a gig. I think we're going on a date. We're playing at Shit Church. You know, that super shitty bar that they built in an abandoned church. I think we have one of those near where we went to college. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A lot of people confuse Shit Church with the other nearby church slash bar, Ass Chapel. But Shit Church has way more ghosts, and the drinks are half price after 11. I kind of want to go to Ass Chapel, though. <laughs> you should come tonight. Although, one of those potions I gave you has a rare side effect that makes you turn into a literal bull. So, if you're busy, I get it. Hmm, I feel like we'll run into Morty. Holy shit, Joy must just invited you to her show. That's basically a date. This is your chance to show her how serious you are about having sex with her by being Ventagram's number one fan. Ventagram is pretty popular, though. Chances are there will be tons of horny fans at the show. You'll have to distinguish yourself from the crowd to get Joy to notice you. That night, you show up to shit church. It's fucking terrifying. The whole bar is filled with ghosts, screamo fans, and Catholic priests. <laughs> this church has everything. <laughs> ghosts, screamo bands, Catholic priests. You can't tell if everyone is speaking in tongues or if they're just really drunk. Also, there are no bathrooms. Just wormholes to hell that people are pissing directly into. Great which then goes into the tap at the bar in hell. Everything okay. works together in this world, man. This is good world building. Yep, this bar is definitely the most terrifying single location you've ever been in. It's the perfect place for a Screamo show. And, and look, there's Ventagram. Mmm, looks like you showed up, Suzanne. I'm happy that you're here and that I didn't accidentally turn you into a bull. You would have been a cute bull, though. Cuter than Morty? Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne, guard your eyes because if I rip them out with sound. Ventagram shreds. I bet it do, Damien. I bet it do. Indeed! We're gonna wage war on your body with sound! Come on, Damien! Let's beat the shit out of each other to warm up! Thanks for coming, Suzanne. We're about to go on, so I should change into my outfit. If you're an extra enthusiastic fan, you can help me take it off after the show. Oh, wow. shit. He's going for it. God, you're in love with this hot feminist witch, and Ventigram's about to start. What's your strategy for being the most awesome fan of all time? Any fan can clap and cheer. You'll celebrate Ventigram's greatness by performing a blood pagan ritual in their honor. That sounds pretty bold. Uh, an average fan would wear a t-shirt with the band's name on it, but you're no average fan. You'll wear a t-shirt with the band member's social security numbers. But that is bold. Is it bold? It's a little unsafe. <laughs> I don't think either of these is smart, <laughs> no. personally. But I'm trying to think. Um... What would social security numbers be? <laughs> no. Maybe that's creativity. They do both sound bold. Well, I think the blood sacrifice yeah. is bold. You are coming up with a different way of doing something that everybody else does in the second one. That could be creativity. Do you think it's smart. It's a ter it's not smart at all. It is there is but no the way that they give it. But the know smart. their social security numbers. I'm thinking it's creativity. Here's the thing. If it's creativity or smarts, both are highest steps. Yeah, Either way, I think we go with doxing them. <laughs> All right, let's dox them. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You look around shit church and scoff. All these other loser fans are just wearing the merch sold by the band. 
You Whip Out custom made t shirt. It lists the full names and social security numbers of everyone in the band. It also lists their blood types. You just have, just to be safe. Wow, another fan says to you, look at your shirt. If you knew all that stuff about the band, you must be super close with them. Yeah, another rando agrees. Do you know Dahlia? I'm obsessed with her. She killed me and I'm a ghost now, so I'm, I have eternity to stand Ventagram. Anyways, sick sh shirt. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ventagram is on stage finishing up their sound check. Joy smiles at you and then looks down and reads your t-shirt. Uh, Suzanne, I appreciate that you're a fan, and that is a cool shirt, but I'm 80% sure that you shouldn't be publicly sharing our social security <laughs> numbers. <laughs> what are you talking about, Joy? This is awesome! It shows true dedication and loyalty to our Screamo Power! Yeah, social security numbers are dumb. I don't want to be social, and I sure as fuck don't want to be secure. <laughs> you know what? You guys are right. That shirt is actually pretty fucking rad. All right, I'm getting fucking hyped. Let's wreck this shit. I'm wondering what would have probably happened is like their identities would have instantly been stolen had we failed this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ventagram starts their first song and the crowd of shit at shit church is loving it. But one of the other fans is clearly jealous of how close you are with Ventagram. And after Ventagram's first song, they try to out fan you by throwing their underwear on stage. Damien catches the underwear and immediately sets them on fire. <laughs> You're not gonna be defeated by this underwear tossing rando, so you decide to go all out. You whip out you rip out your own spleen and throw it on stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hell yeah! Look at this gross ass spleen. Fuck spleens. Whoa! That actually works out perfectly! Alright, shitheads, get ready for Ventagram's 12-minute power ballad. It's called Fuck I Hate My Spleen. <laughs> the song is so sick that you pass out. Also, you're losing a lot of blood from your fresh stomach wound. When you wake up, you're being gently cradled in Joy's arms. Suzanne, wake up! You're lying on the floor of shit church. We just finished our gig. It was legendary. Oh, and I think you might be dying a little. <laughs> Gotta say, I was pretty impressed with how hard you stand Ventagram. You're completely dumb about it. But low-key, that's kind of sexy. And since you literally forfeited your spleen for me, the least I can do is pay you for your drinks tonight. You still got your liver, right? Yes, though it's working extra time because of the lack of a spleen. You hang out with Joy all night, yes! Also, you your spleen gets you plus three fun. Losing your spleen gets you plus three fun. I have no idea why losing your spleen get does that, but I guess that's why people hate spleens! Hey. Last day of summer is here. Here we go. So without a doubt, we are definitely taking out, uh... God. Who are we taking out? Definitely Damien. Damien. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. What the hell are you doing? You're hitting the wrong one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. What's that? You want to be my summer fling? Hmm, well, a Joy slash Suzanne are definitely has, what's that? Potential. But does that sentence make sense? Oh, Joy arc. X Suzanne arc definitely, definitely has potential. Definitely has potential. I write as R, sorry. The romance, the drama, the stakes, the physical comedy. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing, but okay. Yes, a relationship between us would be, dare I say, enchanting. We're not going to break out into song, are we? No, sorry, that was a little lame. But yeah, I'd love to watch the meteor shower with you. Oh, you did it! Dude. The meteor shower was magical. You showed interest in the many times Joy has saved reality, and she loved to share stories with you. She even showed how you many of the magic weapons and arcane artifacts from her adventures then stolen by the Slayer. And you ended <laughs> up learning about that. And you ended up, oh my god, I'm losing it. We're running at the end. <laughs> and you ended up learning that at least three of them can be used as sex toys. To be fair, when you think about it, anything can be used as a sex toy. <laughs> Some things can only be used as a sex toy once. What's new special stuff? New special stuff? Where? Oh. That's what it says. Maybe it was the <laughs> ending for Suzanne. 
I don't know. Um, I don't know. Cool shit, though, that we got four down. We got four down, two to go for these normal endings, and it'll probably unlock most of the, like, extra, extra, extra stuff for later. Um, God, what did we unlock? Did we unlock something? We probably did. Or not. No, we didn't. Goodness wow. gracious. Wow. That's certainly interesting. So, that's right. So, uh, four out of six. Next up, we gotta take down the Slayer or Milo. And hopefully get a normal ending and then secret endings. Watch watch how we get all the normal endings and then all the secret endings will completely disappear for us. Mm. Just gonna be how it is. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!